Hey guys, this is Eric Kaiser with DraftShot.com and I wanted to bring you a quick video to uh, kind of get an inside look here as to how I build my uh, cash lineups that we send out to you uh, via Twitter uh, and, our, and our email list. Um, if you are not currently on our email, email list and you would like to be on our email list, head over to DraftShot.com and you will see right over here on the right hand side is this page, page loads. Uh, you just put your first name, last name, uh, and email address in, and then confirm it, and you will be uh, able to sign up for the list. We do send out um, daily lineups of who we think is, is going to be a solid lineup. Um, you can see we have lots of articles rolling through here of players that we want to target. Um, we do NBA uh, and NHL right now. We will roll over into to Major League Baseball as it comes around this spring. So... Uh, you know, be sure to tune in. Uh, we're also working on on quite a few things here to be able to bring some better information to you um, in our forum section. So, lots of really really good things going on. Um, Tony Bauer's done a great job uh, as far as getting some of this information together. So, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a one stop shop to help you out. Now for my lineups, uh, I do use two methods to pull the information uh, to derive at the players that I want to pick for tonight's for the night slate. Um, the first thing that I that I do is I build a daily spreadsheet that uh, that looks like this. Uh, these are all posted in my articles on the DraftShot webpage. Uh, if you ever want to find one, you'll just look at the players to target information um, for that particular slate. This one's yesterday, and then you'll just click click here and it will open up in a, a uh, Dropbox settlement and then you'll want to open it into a Excel viewer from there so like you would click the download button um, I've already got a download so I'm not going to do that this particular spreadsheet is going to be able to give you information you'll see a lot of color codings a lot of people have questions on them there is a legend right here at the bottom um, that will explain the color coding to you uh, for the player cards as well as for the projections um, so really good really good tool to use um, it'll kind of give you a great idea of what you should be looking for for the night um, and then you can you can go from there uh, the other tool that we use or that I use uh, and the rest of us at draft shot is going to be uh, fantasy labs now you'll see here on the uh, on the right hand side already have all of my players locked in for the roster that I chose to use tonight. Um, I did not use the optimal lineup. Um, some of the optimal lineup information that it gave me I wasn't sold on, so uh, so I didn't use it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right in so that we can kind of see what I look for as I'm building this particular lineup uh, and, and how I get that information and get it out to you. So Jordan Clarkson um, at 5,500 was projected at 23 points. Um, you can see that over his last 10, he's negative, almost negative half a point uh, under his projection, and he's only exceeding his projected points 40% of the time. Um, so he's got a pretty good downward trend over the last 10 games. But if you kind of look over the month um, and even the season, he's he's pretty he's pretty steady. I mean, he's not a stellar player, but uh, he's definitely a player that you can put in there and get you. You know, 20 to 25 points, sometimes 30 if you're lucky. Um, what my main focus here was, really good rating um, for the opponent rating here, as well as his projected ceiling consistency and his projected floor. Um, they are not stellar to some of the other players that are out on the list. Um, but for the particular lineup that I was building, I figured that that would be uh, a pretty good build. The second player that I went with and when we look at all this data here's all the data from the projected points down um, you can see I've got Isaiah Thomas who's in the top three and I've also got Jordan Clarkson uh, in the top ten tonight was a pretty easy slate based on the fact that there is only five games um, but these are the two players that I chose to go with um, when we look at Isaiah Thomas Isaiah Thomas had some really good ratings here, but it's some really bad ratings up here. 
Um, so I went and I took a look at his, his previous games, put up 41, 20, 22, and 34 in his last four. Uh, looking at the defense that he's playing over against New York, uh, I thought that he had a, would have a really good shot to hit that projection of 32 points. Um, in addition, I also did some research of his previous games against New York, which he also did really well. Um, and then for the results, uh, that particular game is over. So you can see he ended at 38 points, um, which you know worked out really well for me. Um, so those are the two point guards that I went with. Going over into the shooting guards, um, this was a very interesting portion for me. Um, I did pick James Harden, who was the number one projected, but you can see his rating was only about a 67 over here. Um, when you look at James Harden, here was the big thing for me. Ten, he averages 10 points over projection 70%. He's got an upward trend. He's been doing really well. Um, his numbers are just astounding. It's James Harden. He's matchup proof anyway. So this opponent rating down here did not bother me. Projected ceiling though, 99. Um, his floor was 99. His long term value, 99. Bad rating because of his price tag. Um, he's gone up $1,400 over the last 10 days. Um, but everything else looked really good. Um, and he was a good person to put... Uh, on the slate since it was so small so that you could gather those points uh, he was projected at uh, 48 points and oddly enough he got really close to 10 he got uh, 54 which was just at five times his value so um, pretty happy with his performance tonight um, especially if you look at his past performances um, the last couple of games 54 and 70 so he's really picked up his game right before the all-star break um, and that's why he made the roster tonight. Uh, Lou Williams, who is playing right now, averages about one point over projection, um, and sixty percent of the time he exceeds his his total projection. Um, so those are you know those are pretty good odds. Um, my main purpose here is to kind of look at their floor, their consistency, and their ceiling when I'm looking at cash games. I'm not so worried much about uh, upside or their bargain rating, their Vegas score. I don't really care about their salary change. Um, and then I also look at their projected plus minus because the big key factor for Fantasy Labs is they, they put a lot of weight into the projected plus minus. Um, anything over 60%, I will usually run with um, with, with some confidence. Uh, you know, Trevor Ariza, 29.5, he was rated. I mean, look at that. He was at... Point plus 7.72 with 50, 50 or 70 percent. Um, and if we look at his score as this game is over, he had 21 and he um, was slated for 29. So he did not hit that tonight. And you're going to get that on the flip side of it. Uh, Lou Aldang for 21. I think he went almost for 30. Um, so he's got a really good rating. Um, so as you guys wonder how I look, or for the data, data that I look at, um, this is kind of the beginning of it in a nutshell. Uh, there is a lot more that goes into it, uh, but I don't want to make this video extremely long. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to discuss some of the data that I put together uh, for the lineup, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can find me on, uh, on Facebook. We are here in the FanDuel group. Um, you can find me at, uh, at Eric Kaiser, K-E-I-S-E-R. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at, uh, at Eric Kaiser. So uh, you've seen the name for the Twitter account uh, associated with DraftShot. Feel free to reach out to me. We can discuss it. You want me to look at your lineups or give you some insight of what I have, uh, feel free as well. If, if you want me to make some more videos on, on some of the stuff that I'm looking at and things of that sort, I mean, let's talk it out and let's figure out a way that we can all take down some of these GPPs uh, and take some of these money from these sharks. All right, guys, tonight I'm signing off. You guys have a great night. From DraftShot, this is Eric Kaiser. You guys have a wonderful